Council, they will say to you, oh, it's not impossible, it's not possible, Canterbury can never go Labour. Canterbury can never go Labour. Oh, yeah? Yes. Who says so? Who says so? Who says so? Nobody. Because do you know what? The power is in our hands. The power is in our hands. They might all be saying that this is a coronation. They might want you to believe that it's just a question of how many seats Theresa is going to get. But we say no. We say no. We say there is an alternative. There is another way. It does not have to be like this. And it's up to the people to decide. And this seat may have always been conservative. But it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be that way. You can have a local champion, a progressive woman representing Canterbury. And what we need is for those people who do not agree with Julian Brazier's politics at long last to all vote the same way. Stop messing around and vote Labour. you have. You've got Theresa May, who has no vision for Britain, who tells us that it's hard, that it's tough, that it's going to carry on being hard, that it's going to be tough, but she's tough, she's strong, she's stable. She, everybody who knows her in number 10 Downing Street says that. Obviously she can't get out and talk to anybody because the last thing she wants to do is answer any questions or learn from the people. And when you stop doing that, you're a lousy politician because the people are there to educate people. And if she had been bothering to go out, if she'd gone to Kent and Canterbury Hospital, she would be seeing people who are on whose backs the National Health Service relies. People who we depend on, their goodwill to depend on, and yet people who are paid so little that nurses are going to food banks. They have not had a rise. It is about time they had a rise. It's about time we started valuing people. And they would meet people in Canterbury who'd be saying, we're so worried about the future of our hospital. We're a city. How come we don't have a decent hospital with proper investment with a future? child in the hospital now but would have to go all the way to Ashford or would have to go out to East Kent somewhere why why this is the city we are a, this is a this is a city that's getting larger all the time more and more people come to this wonderful place and yet we don't have the facilities and what will they say they will say well we need to cut back in public services in order to have a strong economy in order to have a strong economy to pay for public services it makes no sense it makes no sense we've had seven years of austerity all they can promise us is more austerity 10 years 15 years 25 years who knows it doesn't have to be this way we can invest in our economy in order to grow our economy we can have decent public services we are a rich country Services, the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer and all we're saying in the Labour Party and this is what scares them so much is we're saying we're not going to raise taxation for 95% of the population we're not going to raise taxation you know we're not going to raise VAT we're not going to raise national insurance apart from for the 5% and we will be expecting them to pay a bit more because they've got the biggest shoulders and we will be stopping their cuts to capital gains tax because only the very richest benefit from that and we will be putting corporation tax at the average for the G7 so that we won't be a low tax economy and we will start investing in our services. Because only that way, only that way will we start getting some decent high quality jobs. We, Jeremy today is talking about our plans for a million new high quality jobs because if we don't invest in our people, we are not investing in Britain. And that was what is important. If you have made a mistake in your life and you've qualified for the wrong thing, or you haven't qualified at all, you need to be able to go back and retrain. And we need to make sure those facilities are available for our people. And we're going to pay for it, madam, by cutting corporate CGT. That's how it pays. And do you know what? If you go, if you go, do you go and ask the IFS, which is an independent service, and they have looked at our manifesto, Unlike the Tories, whose only numbers are the page numbers, we have, we have a fully costed manifesto. We can afford to pay for what it is that we promise. 
It's just that some of the richer people are going to need to pay more. Well, I'm sorry, but, you know, they will benefit as much as I will Absolutely. benefit, as much as Rosie will benefit, as much as anyone else will benefit if their child falls over and breaks their arm and is able to go to Canterbury Hospital and get help there. And able to walk on our streets, is able to, set, is able to use our services, because in the end, we are one community. And at a hard time like Brexit, of all times, we now need to pull together. So pull together, Canterbury and Whitstable. Pull together. Vote Labour. Let's have an alternative. Let's have an alternative.